Hi guys, in this video we will be uh, discussing the Ruby on Rails 7 and then we will create a project using the Ruby on Rails 7 using the hardware which was released last year December and then this video I will teach you how the hardware works in Rails 7 and how simplest way as possible without the JavaScript so we will instead uh, before we are using the Ajax and the JavaScript using the webpack now we will be using a hardware and now I will show here on that I created a simple uh, project that is what we're gonna work on we're gonna work on the scaffolding which is the first part that we uh, need to create so I can show how it works in hardware and then after that we will creating a another series or another video that we will create a, a from the scratch instead of using the scaffolding so instead of using the template in uh, in Ruby on Rails and then from that we will be digging in the project uh, the object the tables and then we will be adding edit delete those kind of functions using the hardware and then we will be using also the project we will creating a task with multiple project and then from the task you can create a chat and then from that uh, chat also we will be adding also in the, the whole applications how you can register login from the scratch without any gem or the device so yeah okay so in this video i will show you on the left side the chrome and then the right side is the safari so we can see the interaction between the two for instance you have the one user here and then the another user here how they can communicate so i created the project here which is the table and then from that table you can uh, add another how do you call it project zero one for instance then you can see here what is going on clearly without refreshing the page it is a dynamic page and then at the same time it's like a single page application since instead of we are using a lot of javascript or javascript to do it uh, we don't need to do that anymore we can just use the hardware that's the beauty of it in Rails 7 so here you can see just an example is we are i created a project zero one and then i can edit here and then you can see here is is on time that you have the how do you call it the update in here it is streaming using the uh, turbo using the hardware so before i need to refresh the page and do and yeah you need to refresh the page to reflect what is the changes and now you don't need to do that and then at the same time you can see here in the forum uh, that there is a streaming which is i'm going to discuss that later during our uh, development so uh, we have here the uh, turbo cable stream which is i'm streaming the project which is uh, sorry yeah they streaming the project and then at the same time i have the turbo frame for the uh, for the form on which you can uh, add the information of the project and then at the same time i have here the the turbo frame which is the project which is streaming from here and then i have the project 41 which is this one project uh, zero one. Now I'm going to create here project two and then let's create so you can see here inside the project which is the frame uh, treat is like a frame or the box then inside the box you have a multiple box which is the multiple box is the record like what we created in here so you have 42 41 and then here you can uh, delete also and then it automatically delete in here instead of refreshing the pages delete some how uh, to call it the project so now um, if you're gonna look in our terminal so this is the one you can see here that the turbo is streaming and then you have the projects and uh, this is the one that we created so insert the project and then you created and then you have a streaming of the projects in here so all of this we're gonna discuss during our how do you call it coding part and here uh, what I'm gonna do also so to make to see the beauty of this one so you have a project so let's say I'm gonna create a new project create uh, project create what we're gonna have here content I'm using the content this is the best in hardwire so once I click create it so you can see here automatically show instead of refreshing the page all those kind of things so it is broadcasting using the hardware and of course using the action cable and yeah you can dig it on documentation but in this part we will look on how we can do it on the hardware using rail 7 okay so let's dig in on the new applications like this and then we can add different features in the uh, series of our uh, project videos 
So let's first look what is the version in my local machine. So I'm using Rails 7 Ruby version. By the way, I'm using RPM list. And if you want to install Rails 7 and Rails uh, Ruby, you can go to I think uh, Chris has that one. Chris, uh, Chris Oliver, uh, Ruby and Rails uh, installations. So here you can find I think in this one. Chris has that one, so you can install Ruby on Rails in your local machine if you don't have yet. So I encourage you to, to look on that one, installations MacBook, and then yeah, I think here, go Rails. So you have a different operating system, so you need to ensure what you're using in Rails 7, or and then if you're using RVM, if you're using RVN, uh, RVN, RVNB, yeah. So here, so I'm using uh, Ruby 3 and then Rails 7. So now I'm going to create a new project, which, which is what we are discussing in our first uh, video about the hardware. So Rails new, I'm going to add is a project test. And then, yeah, I think that was it. So because we're going to use for now the SQL Lite as our database, but we will move in a couple of series of video to Postgre. So I'm going to click now. And then now it's installing. And uh, yeah, let's see. Once it's done. So I'm going to post the video so we can continue once it's done.